Wow. Hey guys, um, this is Sean here. It's October 22nd. Uh, it's cold. It is cold for October 22nd. It's 33 is the low today. Um, it is a little after 6. It doesn't get light until about 6.45. I'm getting ready to head to the woods. Um, it, right now, the wind's in the process of shifting to a straight south wind, which that'll be perfect when it gets there. It should be there within an, about an hour. So uh, hopefully it'll switch by the time the light hits. Um, should be a good morning. It's cold, um, and that they should those bucks should be starting to scrape. Um, hopefully we'll get a, a buck in here. Uh, I, right now in this spot, I, I may get some does. If I get a shot of doe, I might take it. So we'll see what happens.
This has been an insane morning. I thought my hunt was about over. I had two bucked behind me. I got them fighting, and uh, I look, here's something behind me, and I see three does come running up, then two more come behind them, and they got alerted. I got a deer right here. Hold on. She's got me big. Okay, guys. <laughs> I, I just shot a doe, and after I shot, all the deer cleared, and I start doing an interview, and I look down, and at 15 yards, there's another little fawn doe, six-month-year-old doe standing there, and uh, she just finally walked off, but uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure I smoked her. She was slightly quarter in two, but I it was tight behind that shoulder, looked like about right where the heart's at so blew right through her so we'll see what happens I'm gonna wait just a little bit and I'll get down and uh, get the arrow so I just spooked all the does luckily I won't be back in here to hunt the rut for another two and a half weeks so I'm gonna stay out here after this let them get back to normal pattern so stay tuned for the blood trail Okay, guys, that deer, I hit her. Uh, she was quartering too slightly. It was a liver lung hit. Found her. She's still alive, about 100 yards from where I shot her. Going back in with my brother and his fiance uh, to see if we can find her. I'm hoping she's dead. I gave her an hour. I have to be at work at 2, and it's like 11.40 right now. So I have to leave for work at 2, so I don't know. I hope I don't have to shoot her again, but... We'll see. So where's she bedded? Hey, look at me. Yeah, I'll record. When you get a liver lung hit, you know, a lot of times they'll, they'll bed, then they go five yards bed again, and they five more yards bed again. If you just let them lay, they'll die. She's laying right there. I'm about 95% sure she's done. But we was here an hour ago, and she was still alive. I just backed out because I didn't have a clear shot. So, ah, that's so good. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Right on the shoulder. Okay, clear on the shoulder. I thought it was good. John. Look at that, that's gorgeous. That's a big doe, John. Oh wow, it's it hefty. Oh my god. It went from there to there. Oh, that's nasty. Come here, John. I won't turn her over. I'll cover that up so you don't see that. Now, that's a big doe, man. One of the biggest. I'm shot her one time. Yeah. I'm glad she. On the bottom? Huh? Look at that. Hit her right there and it came out down there on the other side. Eyes are open. Yeah, they're mm. pretty. Pretty good. Pretty good. That, that broke that shoulder, man. Yeah. I heard a crack. I went back and I replayed the video. I was like, maybe I did hit the shoulder. I thought it went through, but it it's still got awesome thicker. penetration. There you go, man. Now we gotta get her out of here. I gotta go to work. 
in an hour and a half. <laughs> well, let's do it. All right. There is the entrance hole. People wonder about these swacker broadheads not putting a big enough entrance hole. That's that right there is probably an inch and a half, two inches, and it came out back here. I don't want to show that; it's pretty gross. But uh, anyway, it busted that shoulder and drove all the way through the other side. Uh, a lot of penetrations, 20-yard shot. That is a big doe. That's probably a 120-pound doe, I'm guessing. But anyway. Thought I got her drug out. Just resting. There's a truck. Yards. I can see it. Whew. We got another, what do you say, 70 yards? Yep, 70 yards to drag it and we're out of here. Okay, guys. Um, Shot that doe yesterday. Got back in the ha to the house just in time for me to get ready and get to work. And my brother realized that they, him and his fiance, realized they didn't have their keys. So I looked everywhere. I'm guessing it's out in the woods. So we're out here getting, getting ready to try to find a needle in the haystack. I don't know. We're gonna see if we can find it. We're gonna backtrack all of our stuff. He, he went back yesterday and no luck, but uh, I know I know this woods a little better than he does, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I got about two hours, so we'll see what happens. There they are. About an hour. I don't know. What time is it, John? About an hour and a half. There they are. We actually looked every looked back went walked by this first. Went to where the deer was at, walked all the way out, followed the drag marks. We figured he dropped it when we were dragging the deer out. And when we got there, I was like, let's just walk back to the creek. Cause we, and then when we got to the creek, I was like, you know what? Walking across the creek to the deer, we did not look real good. Let's just let's work, look here before we leave. And we lucked out. Briar grabbed it. Yep. There it is. Leopard. I need to buy you an orange. An orange... A bright orange one, blaze orange. You guys put well, that. When you get a woman, you know, you get a different pattern. Things start to be more girly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. She's gonna like you. Okay. Let's go. We got our prize. Let's go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm in November 6th, the 21st. I'm off work to bow hunt, and uh, I'm not going to be back at this place until after the 6th. So it'll be over two weeks. Hopefully this place will settle down. Oh, we didn't bump any deer coming in, so we waited till after 10 before we came in here. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.